Welcome back to the post game show. It's presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. And of course, our player of the game, presented by Coca Cola Experience, the coach side of life. Mike is with Coach Kia, and our player of the game, Drew Freeland. Up, oh, they have the alma mater first, so uh, we will listen in to the alma mater as we chat a little bit. John, you know, every, every coach has experienced a game like this, and all you want to do is get the W. We said it at the top of the show, get the W. Yeah. And they got the W. I guarantee you, Gary, uh, within the first two or three minutes of the second half, that's all Kia Damon was thinking. Just let's get out of here. Get the win, get out of here. And uh, this was one of those games. Neither team could do anything right. But we talked about the standings and how bunched up these teams were uh, going in. And a win is all that matters at this point because they're so bunched up that the winner of this game, given what else happened in the league, means that Lafayette might avoid that playing game. Well, they came in tied for six with Boston, with Loyola, with Holy Cross. Holy Cross lost. Uh, Boston obviously lost. We're not quite sure what Loyola did against Lehigh tonight. So they can't be in bad shape with a win here in this one as everybody of the other three, at least two of them have already lost. And as we mentioned, Lehigh probably favored to beat Loyola. We'll see if we can grab a score on that one before we get out of here. But right now, Mike's with Kia. Coach, so you want to be a head coach. Unbelievable, I tell you. Hey, a win's a win. 81-80, doesn't matter. You still won the ball game. You're right. I'll take an ugly win any day of the week. Um, you know what? A lot of credit goes to the kids. They hung in there. It wasn't our best shooting night. I'm going to blame it, blame it on the heat and the humidity. With the ball was slick and not, not our normal follow through, not our normal shooting results, but we did enough things on the defensive end to give ourselves a chance to win. That was my next question. You turned them over over 20 times and, and you seem to be in those passing lanes. That was so important. Yeah, when we can play our zone and use our lane, um, it's very beneficial to us. And we were very fortunate that they had some miscues. I would like to have gotten a few more of those breakaway layups that we had, but you know, the opportunity, the threat of us running is enough sometimes to get people on their heels. Yeah, any team in this Patriot League, is so, there's so much parity, but this is a very, very important win for you guys to get that one leg up. You know what? All wins are important, so we'll take it and run, but we definitely want to make strides. I talked to the kids about being at our best at the end. We didn't shoot our best, but our team is still growing. We're figuring ourselves out without Anna, which is a new component, and we have a lot of young kids who are absorbing a lot of the minutes, so it's going to be up and down, but as long as we come out on the plus side, I'm happy. <laughs> Good job. Thanks again. Thank Let's bring Drew in. Drew, 15 points tonight, three rebounds, some important shots down the down the road. I'm going to ask you right off, did the Heat play a, a part in this game? I mean, it was hot for both teams. It was that this gym is really hot right now, but, I, I mean, we pushed through it. You know, that's that's what matters. Absolutely. I thought in the second half you came out with a – in the first five minutes was so important for you guys to get back on top. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They made a nice run at the end of the first half, and we came back out. We knew we had to set the tone and push it right back. So. Now, tell me a little bit about that zone that you guys play. You got your hands on so many balls tonight. That's something that you guys really got to practice. Yeah, we rotated really well. That's We work on it pretty much every day about getting to those shooters because they have some shooters who can knock that down. So. And that's so important in that 2-3 zone. Thank you so much. Great game. Thank you. Thank you. An important win, guys. I don't care if it's 80-81, 44-41. -41, it's a W. Back to you. Drew, the only one in double figures for the Leopards tonight. John has the highlights. Then we'll wrap this up. Yeah, Gary, and I, I love what Kia Damon said. She'll take an ugly win over a pretty loss any day of the week. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Dugan, at the end of this the first half, that was her only three-pointer so far of the year. It was that kind of night. But Nia Irving, Gary, 23 points, 12 rebounds. She was uh, the go-to person all night long uh, for the uh, for Boston University. And uh, watch Edgel right here, the feed to uh, uh, Dugan, uh, I'm sorry, to uh, Irving again. Gary, they, they did they did a lot of things well. On the inside especially, they did not shoot the ball well, did Boston University. He only two for 19. But this young lady, I'll tell you what, all night long challenged them inside. Lafayette really struggled, but I love the fact that they hung in there. This was a big three right here, her only one of the night. Mia Irving, that put them up four, and it looked like a hill too big to climb uh, for the Leopards. But uh, I'll tell you, Drew Freeland, our Coca-Cola player of the game, Hit a couple of big shots in the first half. Really got him going off the dribble. She loves that left dribble, the pull-up jump shot in the mid-range. Uh, Good-looking freshman. Drew with another one from downtown. Uh, really a spark plug kind of player, Gary. And she's going to have to pick up some of the slack caused by the absence of uh, Anna Tuzinski. Rebound by Stippa. Looks up floor. This is a great transition bucket by Freeland. Again, credit Sandy Stippa for knowing where her running mate was. And uh, again, Lafayette started the... Uh, 
putting some runs together. Skipper, this was a big screen. Gary, when you're talking about a game that was so nip and tuck the entire way, you remember that one. We thought that was a big play. This was kind of a microcosm of the way the game went. I mean, go figure. Uh, that's not exactly the way Kia Damon drew it up but she'll take the win. I don't know. Maybe they practice <laughs> shoulder head layup. I don't know. They they got the bucket, and they got it pretty well. By the way, more good news. Loyola was beaten by Lehigh. So the bottom four right now, Boston 5-11, Loyola 5-11, Holy Cross 5-11, Colgate 2-14. Lafayette has bumped up into the upper echelon at 6-10 with one more game to play against Lehigh. Oh, no, I'm sorry, two games. Lehigh and Colgate are left yet for Lafayette. So, Things can change around. Here's how it all shook out tonight for Boston. They were 12 for 49. They shot 25%, but only 10% beyond the arc. Two for 19. 15 for 20 from the foul line for their 41 points. It was all Nia Irving. 23 points, 12 rebounds. Nobody else was close to double figures. They go to 12 and 16, 5 and 11 overall. For Lafayette, they go to 10 and 16. So they win double figures. They get to 10 wins this season. Great job by, by uh, of course, head coach uh, Kia Damon. They go to six uh, overall, 6-10 six and 10 in the league. 13 rebounds for Natalie Kukowski tonight and 8 points. But Drew Freeland led all Leopard scorers with 15 points. They were 14 for 59 from, beyond, uh, from the field, 6 for 21 from beyond the arc, 10 for 12 from the foul line for their 40. Four points. They won it, 44-41. It wasn't pretty, but a W is indeed pretty. Speaking of not being pretty, my thanks to John Leon <laughs> and to Mike Joseph, Ricky on the RCN television team, and the night. most unattractive <laughs> of all. I'm Gary Laubach. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. <laughs>